I'm going to demo some of the more advanced queue list features in Worship Extreme. If you're looking for more of a general overview, I recommend the interface overview video above. So let's get started uh, looking at some of the more advanced features uh, in create when working with a queue list in Worship Extreme. I have a queue list open here. You can see on the left, queue list uh, is uh, made up of many queues that creates a list or service order. Um, I have some images. I have a YouTube video. I have uh, some songs, some scripture, and then some more songs at the end. Uh, one of the great, uh, good feature in the Qlist editor is the ability to create a queue group, which you can do by hovering up at the top and click create a uh, new queue group, which is the folder icon. This will then create one at the bottom, and I can give this a uh, name here. So I'm going to say, um, call this one more scripture, and press enter, and that'll create a queue group. And then when I go back up to the top and create another queue, I can drag it down to that more scripture group. Um, and let's uh, give it a scripture foreground here. And um, give it one more queue as well. And this will create a group that I can uh, contain queues in. These queue groups are collapsible, meaning if you click them, they'll collapse. I can go ahead and collapse all these if I wanted to. They're also move. You can also move them around. So if I wanted to move a uh, music set one up here, I can do that, and then it moved the I surrender all queue with it um, to, to to the new spot. Um, so that's just a demo of how the groups work. I'm going to go ahead and remove these two queues that I just created, as well as the group. One of the other more advanced features is the ability to create auto-advancing queues, queues that will fire automatically after a set amount of time. So I'm going to create kind of like an announcement loop that's going to play pre-service. So I'm going to go ahead and open my media library and import some slides that I created. I'm going to uh, drag them in from Windows Explorer here. So I'm going to just drag them in. And notice that my slides were added here. And you can see them in this portion of my media library. So I'm going to go ahead and create four queues with these slides. So I'm going to do by clicking the plus sign in the media library. And notice that these, these slides were created here at the bottom of my queue list. I'm going to create a new group and call this announcements. Put that at the top. Uh, I'm going to create another group and call this welcome. I'm going to move this group right up here. And now I'm going to drag my announcement slides into the announcement group. And now I have slide one, two, three, and four, and I can put them up on the screen by clicking them. And they look great. But now I would like these to go in a go in a loop and just continue until I until the service starts and I shut them off. So to do that, I'm going to right click and choose edit and scroll to the bottom of the queue editor under auto advance. And I'm going to say go to the next queue after three seconds. And then I'm going to edit slide two and do the same thing. Go to the next queue after three seconds. I'm going to edit slide three, do the same thing. Next queue after three seconds. And for slide four, I'm going to say go back to slide one after three seconds. And I'm going to click slide one and now notice in the bottom left here in the preview window, you'll notice that um, after now slide two is up, now slide three, they're going after three seconds. Obviously three seconds is a little quick, but this is just uh, for a demo purpose here. And then and now I went back to slide one and this loop will continue until I get out of it. So say I want to start now, so I'm going to fire this slide here and now uh, I fire the music set one, I surrender all, and the auto advance stopped. Um, another feature is the ability to add audio to a queue. So I'm going to right click on the welcome queue here and edit it and scroll to the bottom. You uh, see there's a panel here to select an audio file. I'm going to click select and I already have uploaded or imported uh, a song so I'm going to select that song and when I fire the fire the welcome queue puts the 
uh, image up, and you can see here, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it, the, um, the song is playing in the background. As soon as I go to another cue, uh, the audio will fade out. You might, might have also noticed in the editor the ability to adjust the transition time. This cue here is set for a half a second transition time, but that can be adjusted uh, on a per cue basis and made uh, longer or shorter, depending on how much uh, time you'd like to, to spend for the transition. And that also is, works for the foreground transition as well. One of the last features I'd like to highlight is the ability to print the cue list. So I'm going to click Print Cue List, there's the print icon by hovering up at the top and clicking Print. And that will load up, I'll drag this over so you can see it, uh, outline of the cue list with all the song lyrics for every song that's uh, in the cue list as well. And on the top right you'll see the option to print. You can also print without the lyrics if you just want this uh, outline here. This outline also includes the order uh, that's set for each, um, for each song in, in the cue list as well. So that was kind of an in-depth dive into some more of the advanced features of the cue list and the cue list editor in Worship Extreme.